Hey guys, Clone Command at 64389 here, and I'm just going to be showing you, well, not showing you, I'm going to be doing a review on the new 20, 2009 AAT. Sorry, I don't have the box. Uh, it comes with five droids, three of the new supers, and two regular droids, of course the AAT itself. A attachment, a regular clone trooper, and Master Yoda. I can't find his lightsaber now, and he has a cane, but it doesn't come with the set. So here it is. Oh, just one second, remember the light. It's not as bad. Or just shut the light off. Yeah, there you guys. Sorry, it's just kind of bright. See, you've got just a regular trooper. It comes with a sniper rifle. Uh, this is Master Yoda. Nice. Ears just like Plo Koon. The head's just like Plo Koon rubber. See, as I said, it's not really new. It's just got a new gun arm. Comes with all three of them. And two pilot droids. Well, they're not pilot, but. And then you got this little speeder. So I'm going to show you how you use it and what to do with it. Well, I'm not telling you what to do with it. You can do whatever you want with it. I probably will customize it so I can hold two droids in there, maybe. But this is it. Ugh, just one second. Get this up and put the feet in. And then you got the spear. Got the nice lights, got the hook there, and this little thing. I advise you just to put it up. It may say just put it down like this, but it really um, messes it up, so. I'm going to take this. Since you've got all seen the mini me figures, I'm going to take them and move them over there. Because I don't need them right now. I'm going to take them to AAT. Flip the gun around. Open up this. Let's take the gun off. And open it so there's a little bit of light in there. Not sure if you guys can see that, but you take this thing and you just simply slide it in there till it clicks, lift it up, pull it down, pull it out. Show sure you a good view. I just took off the gun, so. Oh, that ain't good. That just fell off. Yeah, guys, if you have it and it's not secured fastenly, that's going to fall off. It, I used it for something I'm not going to tell you guys. Uh, me and my friend know, but... Yeah, you got a good view in there. I'm going to be showing you the gun. Oh, it's got four flick fire missiles. Nice. Two on each side. It's got this nice thing it holds it in. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why they put that in. It's just a waste of time. Oh, just give me a minute, guys. This thing is being so stubborn. I would... If it was alive, I would totally just kill it. Ugh. So frustrated with this thing. I hate it. Like, it's a good set, but it just falls apart all the time. Not for some people, because there's this guy I know. It's not you, Matthew, if you're listening. It's, uh, my friend, he's moved away. But he's got it, and he doesn't even, like, touch his Lego. But I'm like, Tim, why are you just not touching your Lego? And he's like, I don't want to break it, so. I don't know why, but, yeah, it's got this spinny thing. I customize it so it can spin 360. You can only spin 90 before. Nice bottom. Nice detail. This flap opens up. And you got a thing inside. So you can put your droid in. Your other droid in. That's why you gave it. That's why they gave you two. With no guns. It's sad. That they gave you no guns. They could have gave you those old megaphone guns, you know, those old things that they could like attach. So you don't want to 
like sometimes, but you don't really want to attach their hands. These look stupid sometimes. And then you can duck that down and it closes. My friend customized it, Matthew. He customized it so it can like flip backwards, so it can go like this. I don't know how he did it, but he's really good at it. Uh, he's gonna get a new. He's gonna get a channel on YouTube, so subscribe to him, guys. And see, you got the cannon. This can go up and down. Up. See, up. And down, up and down, and he also customized it so it can go like down in the movies, as you see in the film wars. I'm gonna be showing you it. Sorry if you can hear that, guys. It's just my dog. They're outside barking. Uh, I'm gonna be fixing this right now, so I'm gonna show you how you put it on. See, got it on. You're gonna put it on pretty easy. It's got the nice and then yeah I can spend three sixty since I customized it. Just take those two little dots off or something that stops it and just do that. It's got very good detailing. Like you've got these nice little titanium barrels. Well, barrels, whatever you want to call them. You got little ventilation systems. Sadly stickers. Sadly a sticker. And again, sadly, a sticker. And again, sadly, a sticker. But, if you're wondering why I say that, because I don't like stickers. I don't like putting them on. Uh, I give this thing... The price was, like, $65.99 Canadian. Probably, like, 50-something U.S. Uh, I give this a... Four star rating for its quality and its many figures. It could have came with like another clone or something, maybe like a gunner or a commander, like just a guy with armor. Uh, but that is the set. I give it a nine out of ten. The price was like like. Sorry if you can hear that, guys. Uh, the TV room is right under me, so and they're watching a movie, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. But that was the review of the 2009 AAT. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep subscribing.